Hello and welcome to this edition of the Lakeville History Moment. I'm Jim Schiffman. Did you know there's a club for women who've been meeting in the area for the past 90 years? And what do these women do? It's quite simple. They get together and spread a little sunshine to people in the area. So sit back, put on a friendly smile, as we take a look at the Eureka Sunshine Society. Good morning. Good morning. How's Marilyn? Fine. We all really feel good when you go and visit somebody in their home that is sick. If they're in the nursing home, we go see it. The more you give, the better you feel. And this is the way our ladies all feel. It gives you a wonderful feeling to give. Uh, Rika Sunshine was started by farm ladies only. You had to be a farm lady. And these ladies were working and sewing for World War I. And they would make things and send it over to the fellows fighting in the war. When World War I ended, these ladies decided they still wanted to do more charitable work. So they got together and they formed Eureka Sunshine. Today we celebrated 90 years in Eureka Sunshine. And I decided 90 years. We have members that are 103 years old. I don't think we should wait for 100 years. Let's do 90 years. We did 85, we did 90, so talk to me when 95 comes. Maybe we'll do it again. We only have 36 members. The 36 members are here because three ladies serve lunch every month. Three times 12 is 36. That's even number. This is the only thing I know that that's how they came to that number. I would say my youngest member is 62 years old. And we go from 62 to 103. I will say at the active members that are with me, the majority of them are in their 70s or 80s. At Thanksgiving, we give the Thanksgiving baskets to the shut-ins. Um, we visit the nursing homes, uh, private homes, if they're at home. It has gotten harder to see the different people because of the Privacy Act. We have a hard time finding out who we can go see and visit. And so we depend on word of mouth. You hate to see it when your friends, something happens to your friends, and you do get the opportunity to, uh, to reach out. And I enjoy the fellowship with the, the other ladies that are interested in it also. When I first came here in 1947, this was one of the very first organizations that I was invited to besides the St. John Lutheran Church Ladies' Aid. And I thought, you know, these women are all outstanding women in this community. I think I might like to be a part of it, but how did I become a part of it? And it wasn't until after I got to know some of the people that they felt comfortable with me and they invited me to come. And the first meeting I ever went to was with Francis Kraft out in the corner across from City Hall now. And she asked me about my background. So they really checked you out in those days before you could get into the organization. So I was, being I was a farm girl, uh, that was the first priority. So, and then after that, I just was invited to come, and I guess I felt happy because I like people and I like to do things for people, and that's what the organization was really about, helping others. But when we first started, you met in the homes, and we owned our own trays, our own silverware, and our own plates. And they were transported from, like, say, your house to my house if I was going to entertain the next time. And then you kept them until the next person had them, or else you transferred them the day of the meeting to the next house. But then, so then when they decided that we could have above the fire hall, and so we met up above the fire hall for a number of years. We had our own room where we could put our own things, and we had a cupboard where you could put the trays and the silver and the glassware 
ready for the next meeting. You just go up and take it out because it'd be clean. And uh, we'd set up the tables and we had a good meeting. It's been an organization that to me has been one that uh, I think a lot of people respect. They like to be included. And sometimes I think we all need to stop and think we need to do a little bit more for somebody else because it gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling. <laughs>